Musa al Khoni maintains Libya's government of national accord has failed to tackle urgent problems resulting from years of conflict and political tensions between rival factions. Of course, this is all our own fault. We let down many people. I admit that we failed in running the country for several reasons. The first being that we in the presidential council did not choose one another. We only chose the members of the government. However, we are responsible for the actions of our conflicting colleagues. We are not united, and this is no secret. The UN-backed government was installed nearly a year ago with only partial support from Libya's rival political factions. Connie's resignation now casts doubts on the country's future. We didn't take brave decisions. We were not brave enough to make bold moves. We have no authority over institutions, especially the central bank, and everyone speaks a different language. Government leaders, including Connie, arrived in Tripoli in March 2016, but have struggled to impose their authority. Militias still hold the real power, and living conditions countrywide have deteriorated. Uh, I announce my resignation from the Presidential Council because I have failed, and I apologize to the Libyan people for my failure. However, I am aware that this does not absolve me of my responsibility as an official in this government. Over the weekend, a member of the Presidential Council announced a series of appointments during Prime Minister Fayez Seraj's absence. They were consequently rejected by other council members. Catherine Omwando, CGTN.